Well, it is in Kansas, but there's no place like home for the Expos. Only two teams have better home records, the Phillies and the Giants, and they lead their divisions. Ask why, and you'll get any number of answers. I think last year uh, we'd come here and we weren't very comfortable. I think it's maybe a, a comfort adjustment here, and, and now we're making that adjustment. You know, that and coming back to the wives and, you know, some of the guys' girlfriends, I mean, that definitely helps. I mean, it's, I mean, you like, you know, being around the guys and everything, but going back to a roommate at the hotel every night uh, is not as good as going back to your wife, that's for sure. It's turf. I think we're a doubles-type team and a running team, and it's a big ballpark, and we can run on this ballpark. The contrast between the two records, home and away, says it all. At home, the Expos are almost invincible, but on the road, only the Mets are worse. What's more, the Expos win the close games at home. In games decided by two runs or less, Montreal's 12-0 at home, 3-5 and on the road. You know, the fans are pumping us up, and, and we want to get out of there. We want to win the ball game and go in. We don't want to, we don't want to prolong the, the game too long. We don't get paid for overtime, so we want to get it done and, and get the win and go home. Don't believe for one minute the fans are the difference. The Expos are averaging over 20,000 less at home than on the road, proving yet again that Montreal is a hockey town. We understand that, and I mean, you know, if you know, we were in the States and the Super Bowl was going on and we were playing baseball, you think anybody would be at a baseball game? So, you know, you have to understand that. And you know what? we got one more series after this, and it'll be over, and then they'll come out and cheer us on. There's no easy explanation, really. It just seems the Expos have found a comfort zone at home. But if proof is what you're looking for, perhaps the first place to look is in the wind column. Rob Sinclair, TSN, in Montreal.